But uh, one of the things that I did while here at our eight hour stop is switch my sled out. You're actually allowed to use up to three different sleds on the Iditarod. But I like to send out one extra just in case something breaks or there's a problem. Um, and also, I, I, the second one I send out is typically a smaller sled. And I send it somewhere on the coast or the river. So when I have a little bit smaller team with less power and not as many obstacles to run into, I can switch to a little bit lighter sled that's maybe not as strong, but you just don't need that strength when you're running down the trails here opposed to going over the Alaska range in the beginning. So this is my new little bit lighter sled. I just finished this one a couple days before the race started. Um, it has the same sled bag as the other sled, so I just picked the whole bag up and put it into the other sled here. So this is hopefully going to help give us a little bit more speed out there with a little bit less resistance for the dogs. This sled uh, weighs about 25 to 30 pounds less than the one we just switched from. So again, we're here in Ruby, um, getting done with our mandatory eight. I'm going to start putting the booties on their feet and uh, we're going to head out on the Yukon River and make our way towards Caltag.